Well, g'day viewers, and uh, welcome again to another Bartol Biomechanics video. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to tie your shoelaces. So sit up straight and pay attention, or there'll be no dinner for you. You know, actually, I've been absolutely astonished because there's a movie doing the rounds on the internet at the moment that's become an internet sensation, and I'd be the first to admit I'd love to be an internet sensation. And it is teaching people the reason for this second eyelet on a running shoe. And I'm absolutely astonished that people don't know what this is all about. Um, but I'm gonna show you what it's all about in a moment, um, just to, to uh, reinforce the idea. But I'm also gonna show you a, a heap of different ways that you can lace shoes that uh, can be really very useful, especially for runners who might have some problems with fit or things like black toenail, horrible thing. Um, maybe they've got a bump on the, on the top of their foot somewhere and you want to try to alleviate the pressure there. There's a million ways you can lace shoes and um, it can be as broad as your imagination. So we're going to do that today and I'm going to show you how to do that. But first up, let's have a look and see what this little lace here is all about. Okay, so I've specifically chosen this lovely Nike shoe because it's got this glorious contrast here of uh, elephant's breath green with grey and it looks pretty cool. But the question we're asking here is what is this little doodad here about? This is exactly as the shoe will come out of the box. So brand new shoe is going to be laced exactly like this and every company does it the same. Um, and I know that people have wondered what this lace is about. I actually thought that uh, everybody knew this, but apparently not. The idea is that um, you've got these two eyelets here to, to try to give you a little bit more um, tension um, through the lacing system and the eye stays if you've got an issue with heel slippage. So the lacing system here is incredibly simple. You just simply lace, the, lace it through that top eyelet there. You do exactly the same thing on the other side. Pop it through there and hopefully you get it the hole right. And then once you've done that, you do a crossover, so this one goes through this loop, and this one goes through that loop, like so, and then you pull them tight. And you can see what's going on here, that we're getting maximum closure at the top of the, uh, of the shoe, and uh, that can be extremely helpful if you've got some heel slippage, especially if you've got somebody who is between sizes. So. Um, not everybody fits within a size range and not everybody can get exact perfect fit. So this is called, a, is called the heel lock and it can be incredibly useful. Okay, so what other ideas have we got here? Okay, so this next little trick of the trade is really handy for people who might have um, extensor tendinopathy. It's a really quite a common problem in runners and it uh, frequently um, can be, um, if not caused, then certainly exacerbated by laces. You can see this lace is actually a flat lace. A lot of laces um, have some padding in it and the idea is that if you've got an elliptical, an elliptical shaped um, lace, um, then it tends to, and especially if it's padded, it tends to distribute the load over the extensor tendons a little bit better. These flat laces don't tend to do that so well. Um, so in this case, you really want to try to um, avoid the area of discomfort. This also works really well for people who might have um, a dorsal exostosis. So if you've got somebody who's got a lump, um, say at the level of their tarsometatarsal metatarsal joint, which as you all know is pretty common, um, or anywhere um, really, you can modify the lacing to, uh, to avoid that area. Now it's dead simple. All we're really going to do is we're going to um, avoid the area of discomfort. So we're going to assume that the area of discomfort is, let's say, three quarters of the way down the foot here. Um, we're going to skip a couple of laces here. You can see what I'm doing. So we're going to um, just make sure that we avoid a few eyelets. And in this case, um, I'm going to skip, uh, let me see, I'm going to skip four. So we're going to do that on that side, and we're going to do the same on this side. And then we're going to cross over and complete the lacing system as per usual. And you can see that very effectively, we have created an area here that completely avoids um, any, any uh, area of potential irritation from the laces. Um, all we've got now is the padding of the tongue on that area of irritation, whether it be the tendon or whether it be a bony exostosis. 
And a lot of people look at this and think, oh yeah, but my foot's gonna, not gonna stay in the shoe very well. Remember that you can still do your heel lock up the top here, which is probably a wise move with this lacing. So I'm just gonna reiterate that, that we'll pop the heel lock in. There we go, it's dead easy. Uh, just like making cookies really. And we're gonna do that there. And I think you'll agree that we can still get that shoe so that it laces up nice and firmly, but we've avoided the area of discomfort through here. Um, so this is, uh, is called a pressure relief uh, lacing, if you like, and you can be as creative with this as you like. Um, so you can skip a lot or not so many. You can be very focused in where you want to uh, change the lacing system, and it's very, very easy to do. So this is pressure relief lacing. Okay, so this next one is called parallel lacing. It's a bit tricky, so pay attention or I'm gonna tell your mum. What you do with this is remove the lace completely from the shoe. So we're gonna take the whole lace out. And then, um, this is a very particular way of doing it. Um, we're going to, on the big toe side, on the hallux side, we're going to lace it through the bottom one here and we're going to pop the second one through there as well. Make sure that your laces are equal length there, and we're going to do that. Now what we want to be doing next is we're going to thread this through on the other side parallel, and this is the tricky bit. We are going to miss a eye stay here and thread it through the next one. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. Pay attention and note that I'm actually popping this through the top side here, and then I'm going to miss two, and it comes underside there. This one goes over on the top side, miss two, come over here, and again through here on the top side, miss two eye stays, pop it up through there, come over from the top, lace it through to finish off here, if I can get it through the hole, <coughs> and then finally on this side. Now this is fantastic, um, so wh what we've done is we've created more space here. This is fantastic for people who might have a very high arched foot who are finding some difficulty getting the shoe to fit properly across the top of, uh, of their foot. It's called parallel lacing, it's a great technique. You might need to watch this a couple of times to get the hang of it because it's a bit trickier than it looks, but it really is an excellent technique for people who are having a little bit of pressure across the top of their foot. So have a go at that and uh, see how that works out for you. Okay, let's have a look at the last and final one. And that's for the, uh, the gnarly old black toenail. Um, everybody who runs gets black toenails. Uh, we love to shove uh, red hot paper clips through the toe bed, the toenail, and uh, uh, yeah, it goes pop and it relieves all the pain. But there's something you can do with footwear as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so here's the last one for you, and uh, as I said, this is for um, the, uh, the black toenail or the bruised toenail, and this can work really, really very well. Now, uh, it's a pretty simple lacing. We're gonna pop it through this bottom eye stay here, and we're gonna bring it all the way up to the top one here. Little trick, uh, leave yourself enough lace to be able to tie the shoe up, otherwise you're gonna be in trouble. And then from there, all we do is progressively lace it up, in the conventional manner. Okay, get ourselves organized. So that goes through there, bring it up, and then we're just going to do the overhand tying technique here where we bring the lacing system all the way up. And the idea here is that we're going to try to relieve some stress and some pressure um, on the medial side of the foot, especially where the, uh, where the hallux is and thereby take some load off the big toenail and avoid the dreaded black toenail and you can see how that works and it's a, this is actually a pretty simple lacing technique. So there you go and if I'm any good I've got pretty much equal laces so that worked out quite well. Um, now <clears throat> the cool thing about this is that you can actually reverse the order here if you wanted to take some pressure off the lateral side of the foot. It's quite a uh, uh, it's quite a diverse lacing technique and uh, I'd encourage you to give it a go.
Okay, so there you go. As we like to say in Australia, Bob's your uncle. Although I don't have an uncle and I've got no idea who Bob is, but anyway, that's what we say. Um, there's four very simple little techniques for you to have a go at. The great thing about lacing, I actually love messing around with lacing because it, it, there's just so many things you can do. Um, basically, if you can think of a way to unload a part of the shoe, a part of the, the foot within the shoe, then you can devise your own little lacing technique uh, to deal with that. So I'm looking forward to all you uh, wannabe internet sensations posting all sorts of different lacing techniques on the internet and then of course I'm going to steal them and put them in another video at some point in time. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been worthwhile. I'm going to make another video for you real soon. In the meantime, get on to www.bartholbiomechanics.com and start enjoying all that wonderful content on there. If you've got any ideas, let me know. Okay, see you soon. Bye.